The first thing that we need to do now is to identify all the colors that our character has. For example, we can see here that we have a white on the chest uh, and also white on the stripe in the back and some white around the eyes and we have a black and also that black gets mixed everywhere. Uh, we also have a light brown, a darker brown that is more reddish on the back that we can see here. We have a four colors that we need to find. So we already have a white. The next one would be, let's say, black. That one is easy. Maybe not super black. It's good to check your colors or exposing them so they don't look red. So if I go a little bit more, that would be our pure black and maybe reduce the redness. So that would be our black. And now we need to look and find a light brown. This is black. So now we need to find our light brown. It's a little bit more red. Let's see. It's good to have a reference near. You can put that always on top. And just observe that sunny part here and there. If we are close, maybe a little bit more reddish. So this one is light brown and the darker one. So that could be our darker reddish brown roughly we will readjust this later when we start mixing them now when we have our colors what we want to do we want to start building our layers and we can do that maybe first with the tail so we'll just observe the tail and see what we can do with the tail what we need is our layer for a layer and let's move those one there and pick up maybe this one always on top and if we zoom here we can see that we have a white black light brown and maybe on the bottom here a little bit of black so what we want to do here we want to start building our layer so we will start with the root the base and that would be our white here values 00302 so 0 0.2 0 0.003 and percentage to 1 so now we have our white we can call that layer white ctrl c ctrl v base absorption and now this one will go on top and that would be light brown and our light brown values would be 0929 0 0929 and a melanin amount and then what we want to do we want to reduce the position so if we do that it's good to go closer to observe what actually is going on so we could say that that is maybe for now just 10 percent there a little bit of whites it's too orangey. Maybe we should reduce the redness and make them a little bit lighter. So the next one would be black. So here black is redness 0, 02, 0, 05, 2, 7. Let's do that. And here 0, 02 and change the position a little bit higher, maybe 50% like that. And now we need our white again. So here we'll say white or tip, white tip and position, actually this one needs a little bit less, a mistake there. Okay, so the black one will go 50, a little bit more, less than 50%, but it's almost there. The white maybe a little bit less. 
So now we can see that our tail is pretty dense. And the white that is there also needs a little bit more color in it. A little bit. And... We can also change a percentage here, so we can reduce the percentage of our whites to make them more sparse. And we can also reduce the percentage of blacks if we want, just to make a little bit of breakup there. So this means that not all of them would be what we see in our reference image. So maybe reducing that back would be more accurate. Can check our character now. Now all the layers are applied over the whole character. But what we actually want to do now, we want to create some textures and isolate a layering of tail and then introduce other colors and layer them on top of the body. So what we can see from these references here is that the amount of hairs in a, in a tail is much less than what we have in our setup. And this is the point where you would go and change this to uh, dynamic. Wait until he generates the, the curves. Lock that view and go to the object. And this is our tail. And let's, let's look that a little bit closer. And for example, reduce the density. Let's reduce it half. So it was 100,000. Now it's 50,000 or maybe even more. Let's go 30,000. We almost need to see a, a tail there that can be seen from this angle because the hairs are perpendicular and we can kind of see the similar effect that we have here, except that our, our white tips are a little bit longer. So we can go here, select white tips and reduce the length. And also probably the thickness of those hairs needs to be higher. Object, select them and go to thickness. So change that a little bit, maybe 100 micrometers. We can go back and then Introduce a little bit more color here, like that, and also a little bit more color, like that. And now we have fall off that we can actually do some fall off inside between the white and the light brown. So if I do fall off, we will we should see the inside having a little bit of gradient. So that could be our tail. Maybe a little bit more of this white. into the light brown just to make it a little bit warmer so that could be our tail so now we will create the textures for the patterns that we see on the back and on the side 